Okay, well, I know also speakers generally take some time um, to introduce themselves and their families and all that when they get up to speak. And you know, you always see them there in those coordinated, like Tommy Hilfiger outfits, and they're amazing. That's always a, a cool, cool thing. So um, I thought I would go ahead and start by uh, showing you my family photo. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm proud, proud of all of them. Bless their hearts. They're precious. No. Um, I don't, don't own a cat. And I'm single-handedly the accountability partner for my cat-loving friends, uh, telling them that they're at a two-cat maximum. Uh, otherwise, they will remain perpetually single. But you can argue that point with me later. So anyway, I want to tell you a little bit about my story. I know there are a lot of people here tonight who uh, came because literally I've heard from people who are like, I just saw an ad on Facebook. Or my mom heard you on the Focus on the Family broadcast and told me to come. Or my friend invited me and I didn't even look at the website, which is <laughs> it's, it's just amazing to me. So um, really quickly, basically, I, and you heard a little piece of this when I was talking to Stephen Cam. I grew up in a Christian home, an amazing home, had a great example of folks who loved the Lord and had a great marriage. Um, my parents were married 50 years before my dad died of lymphoma about 13 years ago now. And um, I had great examples in the church as well. I went to a wonderful Bible-believing church and saw that. But um, what I saw among those couples there was kind of this silence when it came to marriage or to relationships. And I think they all assumed that on a good day, it was mostly a good thing. And, but what I got uh, in contrast to that was I grew up in California. I'm a product of the California public schools, which is why I'll have difficulty reading my slides. But um, <laughs> Grew up in the California public schools, and what I got there was the message of, Lisa, here's what you need to know. No one is going to take care of you. So you go out there, you get your education, you buck up, you pull yourself up by your bootstraps, you make sure you get an advanced degree, and you start advancing in your career.